Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Um, please excuse my voice, I do have a cold. Um, before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. So, um, this is for the sign of Pisces for the first half of February, um, or from the time that you view this video. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, these me messages are only for a specific few of you who are watching because you are not all going through the same things. So let's begin. Um, in the past, you, whoever I'm, um, this message is for, you were in a relationship that was struggling. Um, you may have even thought that person took advantage of you somehow. Um, this would have been what, you know, separated you, I feel. Um, because we have this wedding card here along with the jester. So you may feel like you're paying the consequences of uh, whatever went on in the past. Um, this person's behavior in the past would have thrown you into a lot of confusion. They could have even at that time um, gave the impression that they, they did not have these romantic feelings for you. Or they may have uh, um, said such a thing to you. Now, you will receive a message from this person. Uh, this is something that you thought was dead. And this message you will receive, um, it kind of brings back a uh, hope um, that you could bring this back to life. Uh, we have the um, we have the Knight of Wands. I feel that this is coming in fairly quickly. Um, we have the Squire of Love, which can be a love affair or love messages. And the Seven of Swords is just that. It is hope to bring back um, something from the dead. And it comes from a message. And it could even be uh, not directly from that person, but from someone else that this message comes in that gives you hope. Okay, so two ways. Either way, there is a message. It is confirmed in the overall energies here. Um, I see the devil is here. So I feel that there is a lot of fears. I feel he's here because of fears. Because as much as um, you might want to bring it back to life, there you have a lot of fears because of what happened in the past and perhaps even what was said in the past. And it's like you don't really want to repeat history. So here we have the message. It has not left the ground yet. Um, There are a lot of suspicions. We see uh, an offer here, okay? But it's being delivered by a snake to this queen. And she's eyeing it suspiciously, doesn't really trust it. She fears deception. Now, the Nine of Swords in reverse can uh, be overthinking things or exaggerated fears. And the Grail Knight is someone who would go inside to try to figure things out, try to shed light on something. And that's what she would be doing, okay? Because she doesn't quite trust the offer. So, you know, she's she'd be asking questions. Um, you know, is this real? Um, you know, should I trust it? Um, because with the Four of Wisdom, um, this, this can be an offer of kindness or of generosity. Um, 
but it can also come with a more negative side wherein somebody uh, offers you something or is very generous with you only to receive something <coughs> in return. Excuse me. Um, so here we have this person um, or this offer Okay, because it's coming in the form of this Ace of Love. So this can be a reconciliation. Um, this can even be a declaration of love. It's sitting above the uh, Squire of Love. Um, the Three of Shields, somebody is coming back. It's like they're on their knees. So they are uh, seeking your cooperation or your understanding with regards to what happened back here with regards to perhaps uh, with this card in the upright, um, it shows that in the past I feel you put the effort uh, for this person. They may have turned their nose up at it and I feel like um, they come back to kind of explain themselves. Um, now they, they want this uh, relationship, I feel. Here we have the um, the stocks. Um, this is a card of um, you could be feeling the victim. Um, you may feel this person is lying to you. Um, whatever, if they are hiding something from you, know that it will come to light with this card. This could be here simply because it's sitting next to this card of disagreement, which can be, it's almost like a standoff. And you can clearly see her arms are crossed. She doesn't trust this person. She doesn't believe this person. Um, it could be that you may speak your truth with regards to this person. Um, or they are going to speak their truth. I feel that uh, this card is here um, because in the past there was this um, uh, imbalance uh, and I feel that it, it's like a fear. Again, it's like you really overthinking things because we have you in this state here um, where you think they may take advantage of you again, okay? Where um, you feel that this person might have hidden motives um, with regards to coming back, you know. Um, but ultimately, this offer is coming in, okay? And then you're going to have to decide what you want to do with it. You know, this Nine of Swords in reverse seems to suggest that your fears are over-exaggerated. And... Um, and maybe there is a need to, you know, uh, get things out in the open to clear the air with this card here. But for sure, there is an offer coming in. So um, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching and many blessings to you. Bye for now. Sorry about the voice.